what's up guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And I know guys, Madden 16, it's already in some of your hands. So congratulations to those of you who have Madden 16. For those of you who are still on the Mutt 15 grind, don't worry. I'm still here with you. <laughs> yeah, uh, some unfortunate circumstances happened. Basically a glitch within the EA website made it so that I didn't get added to the Mutt Rewards program. So I do not have an early copy of Madden 16 yet, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. But it sounds like I'll have at least one copy by Friday. So I'll still have it a little bit early, just not as early as some other people. And unfortunately by then, it sounds like there will already be a bunch of Madden 16 videos online and stuff for you guys to watch. But, you know, I'm just going to be jelly with the rest of you, I guess. <laughs> that's, I mean, it's just the way that it is, I guess. And there's not a whole lot we can do about it. But let's hop into this gameplay, guys. Uh, fourth and one here on the very first drive of the game. Typically, I don't like to go for it on the first drive of the game, but it's fourth and one, and I'm feeling pretty confident. We move Vincent Jackson outside to make him think pass, and then we run it right up the middle with Franco Harris there for the first down. A couple of plays later, pass over the middle, Julio Jones touchdown. Gosh, that route is just so nasty. It has been all year. Once we figured that out, it's just definitely one of the best routes that you can run toward the end zone. Very, very difficult to stop unless you user it. So... Uh, anyway, guys, continuing on here, third and eight here, and my opponent's going to find a receiver wide open over the middle there. Good use of Aaron Rodgers' mobility there on that play, so he does pick up the first down. But Emmett Smith taken down in the backfield, brings up a third and 11 here, and he's going to throw it down the field here into coverage, and he overthrows his receiver. So, fourth and 11 here, he is going to go for it here on his first drive of the game, and boom, off the backside. Charles Tillman gets the sack, and we are going to take over here on offense, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a receiver wide open down the field. It is Kelvin. Oh, my goodness. Kelvin Benjamin. How are you going to drop that, homie? How are you going to drop that? That was a huge play if you just hold on to it. But that's all right. Third and four now, and we've got a man. Oh, Kelvin Johnson, you're going to drop it too. Are you kidding me? Two big drops there by our glorious wide receivers. And unfortunately, we, we are going to have to settle for a field goal here on our second drive. So it is 10 to nothing. And then on the next drive, couple of plays in, he is going to throw the pick. That was a terrible throw there by Aaron Rodgers. Absolutely horrible. I'm, I was really surprised that he threw that so poorly. I don't think my opponent was really moving or anything like that. Or, you know, he wasn't like on the run or anything at least. So I, I kind of understand. He kind of got the, the raw end of the deal there on that one. So he is going to rage quit, which means we are going to move on to our conference championship, guys. And I am going to put that right in this video for you guys. So we are going to start off with the ball first in this one. And right off the bat, we're going to try and pass over the middle here. Vincent Jackson makes a guy miss, makes another guy miss, taken down at about the 42-yard line. A big pick up there, 22 yards on the first play of the game. So we're setting up the run with the pass in this one. And Barry Sanders is going to break loose on the next play. Another big gain. Another first down here, and we've got Vincent Jackson open again on that same crossing pattern over the middle. He's not covering it with his user, and it's very, very difficult to stop if you don't cover it with your user. So, continuing to move the ball down the field here. Third and three, and we've got Vincent Jackson over the middle again on the slant. You just you, you have to be able to user that or else you're just going to get abused by it. So he didn't want to do that, and that has been uh, kind of the downfall of his defense so far in this one on the first drive. Good pass there by my opponent on his first play of the game, and then he's going to complete another one here for about seven on second and ten. Brings up a third and three, and he is going to complete a streak there to his tight end. So we've got to make sure that we're covering the middle, it looks like. He wants to go back and forth over the middle, and damn, I tried to cover the middle there, and it left open a guy deep down the sidelines. So he did complete a nice pass there. Another first down, and damn, he is just dotting me up right now with Marcus Mariota. Next play, he is going to run it into the end zone there. Unfortunately, we just could not do much on defense on that drive. Man, really, really disappointing. And then the very first play on offense with the ball back in our hands, we throw an ugly interception there to Cam Chancellor. Not looking good right now. Very much not looking good. And look at him just running the ball here with Mariota. We lay the hammer on him, injure him, but he's only got the one quarterback glitch going. So look at this, though. DeMarcus Ware with a big play. That probably was one of the biggest plays of this game because it sets up a third and 21 here. And gotcha, bitch. We get the user pick on the next play. And Derek Johnson is going to take off for a big return there, bringing it back to midfield. 
Barry Sanders now has the ball in his hand and it's time to take over. Whoop! Barry Sanders with the spin move. Try to hit him with another one, but he is taken down at the 29 yard line after a pickup of 21. More Barry Sanders here. Another spin move as he breaks a tackle, takes it down to the 13 yard line. And now we're going to go back to the air. A pass over the middle here. He tried to cover that route that we scored on earlier. And that left open the pass underneath. Very next play, Kelvin Benjamin makes a beautiful grab in the end zone in coverage. And that's going to put us up seven again here. Oh my goodness. I thought for sure we got that interception. But it's just the lob streaks, man. The lob streaks in Madden 15 still just unbelievable, man. It's so crazy that that was just like it was such an important part of this game. I, I like I'm just blown away at, at how just dominant the lob streaks were all year. But anyway, though, my opponent not just doing lob streaks. I got to give him credit. He's finding open receivers over the middle there. And then the next play here, he is going to get into the end zone for a touchdown. Now, normally he would actually just kick an extra point here to tie up the game. But my opponent decided that he was actually going to go for two. We ran a pretty good defense for it. But unfortunately, he's able to scramble to the outside. Two of our guys drop off to go after the quarterback, unfortunately. And he does end up throwing it for the two-point conversion. So my opponent takes the lead on this drive. We've got about a minute and a half here before the end of the first half. So we've got to make sure that we move the ball down the field. Barry Sanders doing his job on the ground. We're picking up big yardage. Eddie Lacy this time getting involved a little bit there picking up an eight yard gain or so and then on third and one it is a nice grab there in coverage by Calvin Johnson he just doesn't even really care if he's in traffic it just doesn't even seem to matter whatsoever in this game Calvin doing a great job Barry Sanders again with a nice gain brings up now a third and one and we're gonna go back to the run here and oh my gosh we nearly got taken down in the backfield that could have been disastrous thankfully Barry is strong enough does pick up the first down and we're gonna go underneath here again he is desperately trying to cover that route over the middle and thankfully we had an underneath route out under it a couple of different times in this one and then eventually Julio Jones into the end zone right before the end of the first half so now because my opponent went for two we've got to go for two to make it a seven point game and we do complete the pass there to Vincent Jackson right before the end of the half so my opponent now takes over in the second half and he is going to throw it into coverage again oh my goodness Alshon Jeffrey with about three guys hanging on him just doesn't seem to matter at all so my opponent's continuing to move the ball down the field, mostly through the passing game, but a nice run here. I think that's Todd Gurley with a beautiful run there, picking up nine. Sets up a second in inches here, and I'm trying to cover that receiver. Oh my goodness, DeMarcus Ware, you've got to cover that. You've got to intercept that pass, man. That was such a big play. That could have been a big game changer, but my opponent did pick up the first down on the next play. So now he's back in action here, moving the ball again down the field. Larry Fitzgerald, very difficult to stop right now for me. I don't know what the problem is, but we just can't seem to do it. And Mariota taking off again with another run up the sidelines. Doing our best here to try and stop this, but it just doesn't seem to matter. Mariota, so very difficult to stop with somebody that knows how to use the scrambling in this game. He is doing a very good job of scrambling outside, mostly to the right side, just about every play and making me miss, finding guys down the field and, and just throwing me off my game plan on defense. So we're going to try and stick to our game plan on offense, which is kind of grind him out with the run and then find guys down the field with the passing game. Third and one, and we are so patient there in the pocket. Definitely had to wait till he got past that zone coverage before we threw it, and he did make the catch, which was huge. Couple of plays later, Barry Sanders is off to the races, and we dive out at the one-yard line. I was trying to dive into the end zone. I got a little bit overzealous there with the celebrating, and now it's going to be a third and goal from the 11-yard line. We had a touchdown on the board. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Calvin Johnson comes up again in the clutch one more time, man. Calvin Johnson is just so awesome in this game. I haven't found a better receiver. I mean, obviously, he was one of the best all year. So that's always been fun for me to use Calvin Johnson. But my opponent's still got a chance here. We've got about a minute left in this one. He can come back, and you know he likes to go for two. Oh my gosh, throws it up into coverage, and we drop another pick here. Patrick Peterson drops that one, but he's going to have another chance here. Throws it up into coverage. Gotcha, bitch! Patrick Peterson with the game ceiling interception. He's tackled at about the 40-yard line, and from there, we're able to kneel it out. 
So a competitive game here, guys, came down to the final drive, and we were able to get the interception there with Peterson. So that was a very fun one. I'm really happy that we walked away with the win here, and we're moving on to our Super Bowl here. We've got one more game of Madden 15 content before we're completely done. This whole shitty game is over with, but I'm telling you guys, I think you might enjoy the final game. The Super Bowl was pretty entertaining to me anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. That would greatly help me out. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you soon on Madden 16.